Hey, what's going on? Muriel from the Sunshine Family. And if you're searching here on YouTube for Airbnb Santa Teresa, Costa Rica, this video might brighten up your day. This casita is for one slash two people and it is for rent. However, I guarantee you it's not listed on Airbnb. And how do I know everything about this casita? It's mine. It's on my property where I'm standing here on my mango finca, my mango farm in Costa Rica. I live here with my husband and two growing up kids. Here's one of my dogs. I have two other dogs walking around and the cat. And there's a personal and special background story about this casita, which is um, empty usually six months per year. So I found out that, you know, it's such a waste of this space when there are so many people looking for an Airbnb, Santa Teresa, Costa Rica. And Santa Teresa, it's a fact, it's often fully booked. It's very expensive compared to other places in other countries in Latin America, South America and Spain. Um, it is very noisy in Santa Teresa, Costa Rica. However, it's awesome to be, to surf. It has amazing beaches. Oh, there's Joey, my other dog. And there's a lot of cool things to discover in Santa Teresa, Costa Rica, but I'm not sure if you, re you really want to rent an Airbnb in Santa Teresa, depending on the budget and what you want. So um, yeah, the details about this casita and why it's built here, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Stick with me till the end of my video. You might be interested to hear the reason why and the vision behind it, okay? Uh, but first, if you want to learn more a little bit about me, why I'm making these videos, what do I do for a living that I'm able to live here free, job free, restaurant free in Costa Rica, that's what this little information video is all about. So it's one minute, take a look. Okay, so now you know how it all happened that we moved to Costa Rica and why I do have a lot of time um, to do other things and making these videos for me is super fun. I, um, be, I'm thanked by a lot of people who watch my videos who want to learn something and also give me ideas if people ask me questions to make a new video. Now, the reason why we put this casita up for rental is because it's empty six months per year. And because a lot of people message me, inbox me through my YouTube channel, they hit me up on Messenger or they share in the comment below the question like, I'm coming to Santa Teresa, Costa Rica. I'm coming to Costa Rica, I'm in your area. Do you know any rental where I can sleep safe? Um, you know, not super expensive and you know, we never been here, so help us out. So often I refer people to casitas and rental homes that I happen to know if they are available, but that's not really my expertise, right? I'm not in real estate whatsoever, although I bought my own property. I'm not a real estate or rental agent. However, I'm standing here on purpose a little bit further away. This is, and you hear the, the jungle, the animals, you don't hear any, any Santa Teresa noise here. And there's a lot of space here. There's no neighbors. This casita has no neighbors. Let me just tell you why we have built this and uh, some stuff that you might 
want to want to know right um that makes you even more motivated to rent this short term a couple of days if you're uh, traveling around costa rica this might be a great place to just take a rest chill enjoy the monkeys that's always climbing here in these trees it is our mango we have 180 mango trees our dogs just hike around here and coming to visit you on the deck to to get a hug from you so this is not a place if you're allergic or afraid or you hate dogs this place is not for you but the background story of this casita is that it is actually it the owner is my mother-in-law it's dirk's mom and we are super close we are like best friends um we are you you we are like a unity of five people dirk me we have two kids and grandma we are very close always been but there was also a father-in-law but he passed away a couple of years ago now and the story behind his house is that although so the story is my mother-in-law my father-in-law Dirk's parents were married for 50 years over 50 years healthy never sick however one day he passed away unfortunately However, he left her some money. He left her some money. Basically, you know, you, at, it, it was not um, expected really that he had some accounts and basically as a surprise, it, she discovered that th there was this amount that allowed her to invest in something or to put it in on the bank, to keep it in the bank. But we learned as entrepreneurs to keep your money in the bank is not smart. You have to, um, how do you say that money needs to be moving you need to invest your money in real estate in something in a business in, and that's what we do right we are entrepreneurs so we spoke with her like uh, we are looking into a property in Costa Rica for the same re reason we want to invest we don't like the earned money that we have to to keep it in the bank whatsoever it's going to shrink because of the recession so basically the story is that thanks to what my father-in-law left her, the money she le uh, was left to her, she had money to, to build this house. But, you know, she wasn't, um, she didn't have any experience in building houses whatsoever. And she was in the Netherlands and we already moved to Costa Rica and we found this beautiful property. So long story short, she was like, you know what, your community, I trust you. If you can build this house, I have this funds and I'm going to pay everything that's needed to build this house slash casita. It doesn't have to be big because I'm just by myself, but I would love to just stay with you a couple of months per year because I miss you guys because we were so close. We were also close with her husband, with my father-in-law, but basically it came down to this. She got her money from the bank that was standing there and instead of seeing her money shrink she told us here this is my budget uh, if you can build me a ha build me a home that will be awesome i trust you so we did you know i made videos about building a home we didn't have any experience uh, with that anyways but it happened to work out really really well and this is the result uh, she is really happy she stayed here already for two seasons she's here more or less four to six months per year but what happened the rest of the months it's empty now fact is that a house that's empty will be taken over by the jungle uh animals will live in there uh you know it, it won't stay clean in costa rica trust me a house is better off with someone in there and now we decided because she wants to travel back and forth which she still does with her dog she has a little dog called rosie and uh, you know that is a, a long flight from the netherlands and the dog needs a ticket so we said how about maintaining the house while you're not here which we did so far but it's a lot of work and it's cleaning a house for no one that's really frustrating how about if we put it up through my youtube channel so just trustable people and loyal viewers will probably see my video about your house we're going to see if we need to list it on airbnb but so far i had so many replies and some people here staying and they were so happy made me realize thanks to also a lot of loyal viewers that we don't need to list it on airbnb we can just um 
um, pre-select trustable people who want to rent this vacation home close to Santa Teresa, Costa Rica with the luxury of being within a couple of minutes in Santa Teresa, but you're staying with the family, me, Sunshine family, with my husband Dirk and the kids and the dogs on my property, which where this house is. And um, that way she can save up for her ticket. So the house that way will pay for a little maintenance and also for her flight tickets, which is for her, you know, putting her um, money that her husband left her in the house that is for her the best way to get here uh, so that house is special it is a memory of her husband the the money he left her she allowed us and trusted us to build her this casita and now this casita is built with a lot of love there was a beautiful architect behind it it's a friend of mine um, and it's it's on my property and basically if you are here this is what you're gonna get, no neighbors. There's a river behind the house. Oh, and I made another video where I give you a round tour through the house. That's not what I'm going to do here. This is more about the background story of the house. I will make a pop-up here around this second of this video where you can watch that video and see me walk through the house. You see all the rooms, or there's actually one room, but the kitchen and all the spaces. That tells you everything about how it looks like okay how big or slash small it is um but yeah i think this story is so worth worthy to tell this is not just a commercial rental this is a house that's built with memory money so to say um a very loving partner who unfortunately passed away too too young he was just 75 but he wasn't sick whatsoever and you know, she she has she has a happy life. My mother-in-law, she has a big network. She's not lonely. So she has an amazing life in the Netherlands. And therefore she decided, no, because we invited her, stay with us forever. You, you have your own home now. You can live with us. But because she has a big network and family and friends in the Netherlands, she decided, no, I cannot leave the Netherlands for good. Although, thank you for the invite. And I know I have my own home. I'd rather just come a couple of months, have 50%, 50%. And that's the background story. So it is really our obligation, even including with the renters, with people going to stay in this house, to take care of the house. Treat it as it is your own, right? Um, she, she designed this like how she wanted it. So it's very simple, it's very basic, it's very, it's not big because she's by herself and she's my size. She's not as tall as Dirk is, so she didn't need extra rooms. Because also, we already discovered when you live in Costa Rica, when you stay in Costa Rica, you're more or less always outdoors. So the outdoor space is very prominent uh, and, this, and no having no neighbors, uh, no parties next to your house, no other renters above you in an apartment stuff or um, there's also a lot of compounds that you houses in compounds that you can rent but then you see another house right here this is what it is this is my property it's just us right there uh, and the casita and the, the people who stayed here were so so tranquila so to say they said wow i really enjoyed hanging at that couch which is built, all the furniture in the house is uh, designed by a friend of us. He's a wood artist. So it's all fitting exactly in the casita. If you sit at that couch, couch with a book whatsoever, you can see the monkeys climbing by. <laughs> and there's a lot of birds that you can observe and a lot of nature and peace of quiet. So the thing is the benefit of this casita over renting in Santa Teresa, which I'm not stating that there is no cool Airbnb in Santa Teresa waiting for you. But what I have heard back from the guests staying in this casita is, wow, I'm right in the middle, which is a fact of Montezuma and Santa Teresa, because this is the countryside. We live right in the middle of that peninsula, the Nicoya at the bottom. So you can choose. It's the same distance from here from this casita to Playa Montezuma, which Montezuma is a very cute town. I actually prefer it over Santa Teresa, but you have to discover it for yourself. Or you can say, hey, I just want to go to cool Santa Teresa. And actually both places are excellent to serve. I have the, the public road here in front of my property. So you can just go left 
or you go right and you just end up on one of these two beaches. Uh, and Santa Teresa is a very hectic, a very crowded, very overpriced, um, very busy, often overbooked in high season. Even I've heard drama stories that families came and their landlord rented it out to other people who came and overpaid the price that that family whatsoever had booked months before. There are drama stories I've read in the What's on Santa Teresa, the Santa Teresa Facebook group, that people had no rental and it was right before Christmas and everything was fully booked. That is happening. That's a marketing strategy. Unfortunately, I'm not proud of Santa Teresa, the Santa Teresa community, and a lot of people with me in the Santa Teresa community feel ashamed for people just, you know, abusing. Um, people who are unfamiliar with how Santa Teresa is. And when you have no rental in Santa Teresa in the, in the peak months, December, January, you have to pay a lot of money to find something that's probably overpriced or just totally out of your budget um, because it's always fully booked. Now, this you cannot book through Airbnb, like I said. And if you wonder, okay, how can I uh, find out the prices and the details? There's just one little call to action. That's write a comment below this video, say interested in this casita short term. Um, so this is for a couple of nights, up to a week, perhaps up to three, four weeks for those really interested, but we have to be a right match, right? This casita is not for everyone. For example, for who is this casita not? for very tall people from the Netherlands, for example, because the bed is not super tall. It's like normal size, it's like a queen, right? Uh, it's not a king size bed, but it's a small casita. And that's why a king size bed doesn't even fit in there, as you could see in the other video. It's also not for people who, who do not like dogs because my dogs are running around here. It's also for your protection. They bark if something is wrong. No soul will just, enter this property without having a dog. If you are here uninvited with bad intentions, it's not smart. That's why we have dogs. They guard the property and they're super friendly, loving dogs for my guests. It's, but it's not, if you hate dogs, don't come here. It's also not the right fit if you don't want to have muddy feed. It's not a, very, it's not a commercial home, right? So it is literally in the back of my property and we keep the maintenance, we keep the, the grass short, but basically, you know, um, there, there is not a luxury entrance whatsoever. It's the simpleness is the key of this house. Also, there's no air conditioning, but it's not needed because it's a ventilated house. There is vents everywhere and it breathes. You see the wooden panels? So it's open. So with the, with the van on, it's cool. It has two terraces, so at daytime you can sit there, but there's around the corner a little cool um, shadow, um, uh, do you say that, terrace where you can sit, a little deck, um, really nice. So it has so much benefits for those who are ha can walk really well. It's not r wheelchair friendly, also not, um, not fit for people who have bad legs or have a problem walking whatsoever. But let me list. So I'm really, I'm really um, upfront, right? I, I want to attract the right people for this. But for who is this casita? Fantastic. Well, for one or two people or a mom and a child. I had a mom with her 11 year old son, for example. They loved it. The, he was playing around with the dogs all day. It was so cool. And the dogs loved, loved all the attention. And she was chilling here and just take a rest from, from some vacationing in Costa Rica and searching for property. She just really, took a rest here. It was like a pit stop here for a couple of nights. Uh, it is perfect for those who love to go to Santa Teresa in Costa Rica and surf, but sleep in the peace of quietness a little bit outside Santa Teresa. A benefit here, it's not so hot here because I'm living a little bit uphill um, compared to Santa Teresa. Santa Teresa is super hot in the hottest months. Here there's more breeze. Here there's there is always animal sounds and not constant Santa Teresa town noise. So what other benefits? Um, 
you have private access to a river that no one else can access. We have the so-called a river beach. So it's really cool. There is no pool. There is no beach here, right? You have to drive between five and 10 minutes, depending on the state of the road. But you can do it in five, six minutes if there's no traffic jams and, and the road is in good condition. Uh, but you don't have all that. Well, what do you have here? Well, you walk to behind my camera and you can uh, enter the river, but also right there, you can enter the river. The river is the borderline of my property. And you can, you can just bath, bathe, swim in the river. I, when it was a quarantine and COVID, this is what we did with our kids and our dogs. Come, let's hike to the river. We, we walked through the water to find out where, where it ended up. And you can walk for hours through the river and just see no one and only nature. So there's, you can do activities in our river and right there, perhaps you even hear it. Right now it's rainy season. Right now it's August when I'm recording this. There's a little waterfall there. There is no one else there. So if you enter the river here, you feel like you're in, in the jungle by yourself, which is actually the truth, but you are on my property. Rivers are not officially part of properties, but it's the, it's the borderline of my property. So you have river access here. You can walk, walk over my property. Like you can just chill. Uh, there's a specific space. Of course, that's our private space, but in the back, you have freedom to just chill, hang up a hammock uh, between a couple of trees, read books. There's even spot for if you have a, a child that wants to camp, you can put up a tent here, right? We are so easy, but the most, the biggest benefit that I heard from my, my, my visitors, my guests is that they felt so safe. You are staying on a, a property, a family property with a gate that is locked. So you get the key and you're free to go in and out whenever, but it's silent. We are quiet people. We work from home online, which you probably have on, um, learned in that little uh, part of my video. Um, we are not party people. We are quiet people ourselves. We are kind of, we do a lot of things online, but in private, we are kind of on our own. We love, we love to, to sleep early and to wake up when the sun rises. So you will get peace and quiet here and safety protection of my family, my own family. You're going to be staying on my property. So you want to see me hanging up my laundry. I live here and you're going to be in the back. If you prefer to rent this, the only thing you need to do is place a comment below this video and ask me for information. As you can understand, the prices will depend on the amount of people, the length of stay um, and, um, and, the, and the season, right? Um, yeah, we have high season period, um, also the dry season period that goes from December 1 to now our May 1 <laughs> and uh, the rest of the months are low season slash wet season um, and the green season. But as you can see, it's not raining all day. Hit me up or private message me on Facebook. You will be able to see how you find me on Facebook in the uh, description below my videos. There's a direct link and just refer to my casita on the mango finca. finca. If you want to rent my casita, let me know and see if we are the right fit for each other. If this um, meets your wants and needs and vice versa. Like I do not want parties here. You should be willing to treat this house as it's your own. I only want good people on my property because it's my home. So if you feel that's you uh, and you want me close by you for safety, for trust, of course, I am happy to give you my best tips on my favorite restaurants and the best way to go around here. Of course, that's what you're going to get with it. With that being said, it was a long video, but the story is so special. It's that casita of my mother-in-law. She invested the money in this house to build this. We have organized all the building and the, and the, and the, yeah, how to do that. But um, her husband left her the money and it is also a memory of, of her husband, right? Allowing her to create this for herself so she could be with us in her own build house. How cool is that? 
So yeah, this casita deserves you. If you feel like you deserve this casita and you're willing to take care of it while you're staying here. And then I'm pretty sure that you will love it. If you love quiet and nature and being close to Santa Teresa and Costa Rica. But now I start to ramble on. That's not my purpose. I want to thank you for watching my video, taking the time. And also don't forget to watch the round tour through this house in the description below. I will add the link as well, or go a little bit back to the beginning of this video where I placed a pop-up around minute seven, if I remember correctly, where you can see that video to see all the spaces and how it looks like from all rounds. And uh, who knows, we're going to be chatting soon to discuss which days and when you're going to book this casita. It's short term only, and it's hard for me to plan very far ahead, but I hope that we find a way to, uh, to meet each other's needs. See you soon in Costa Rica. Who knows? I'm looking forward to it. Bye for now.